This is the PodCraft Podcast, episode eight for Monday, September 7th. Today, we will review a beer from the Rare Barrel, as well as Modern Times. This is the PodCraft Podcast, where we talk about craft beer from Southern California and beyond. I'm your host, Chris. Here's your other host, Charlie. Yep. We have tech guy, Steve. Steve. Uh, today, we're going to review that beer from the Rare Barrel and do Modern Times. To connect to the show and to get all show notes with the links to everything mentioned in the podcast, go to www.thepodcraft.com. The website also has links to help you subscribe so you won't miss an episode, links to the, con- uh, the content on social media, photos of the beers we consume today, uh, links to the breweries, uh, more details on the beers we mentioned, as, uh, and our direct email address for feedback. Look forward to hearing from you. Uh, just head to our website at www.thepodcraft.com. Uh, please also consider uh, recommending the podcraft to all craft beer fans in your life. Thank you. Yeah, for sure. You want to pop that? And Steve, uh, you have any good beers this week? Absolutely. I had that passion fruit that so you guys gave oh. me from last week from the McKellar. It was yeah, passion delicious, pool. wasn't yeah. it? Mike Keller. Did Mike you like McKellar? it? Mike, is it Mike Keller? McKellar. McKellar. Yeah. Yeah. It was a little too sour for me. Was it a little bit? Oh. That's but I did try both of them. <laughs> I like I like that. The, Getting um, that in. So I had. Uh, Ooh, smells great. It's fantastic. So this week I had um, I had a stout from Modern Times last night. Uh, Devil's Teeth with uh, pistachios and coconut. It was pretty good. Crazy me! I went for the answer right away. Yeah, that looked good. Bunch of berries in it. It was delish. Yeah, and that my for kids sure. liked it. The. Uh, yeah, but I drank a bunch of uh, other half all this week, just like one a day, just to go through them. Trying to get through them, huh? Yeah, I got to make room, make room for beer that I haven't bought yet. It's always helpful. What about this stuff? What do you think? So we have uh, the Rare Barrel 2018, The Search. Um, it's a uh, golden the sour. The search is over. We found it. We did find it. Uh, golden sour aged in... Um, Asian oak, I think. Uh, oh, that is delicious. So it says, um, oak barrel blend of uh, golden sour uh, beer. There's something about golden sours. Can definitely, uh, it, it almost looks like apple juice there, huh? Yeah, that's the color you're getting. And sure enough. I'm it smells through, really acidic. I'm looking through my beer zombie glass, which is always fun. Hey, speaking of beer zombie, today they had, they had a release of 450 there. Um, I was looking at their... Uh, they had people the people showing up uh, 9 o'clock at night last night. Get uh, out. If you weren't in line by 1 a.m., uh, it was you weren't getting any beer. Yeah, well. It was crazy. That's normal with 450 had, stuff, so. Yeah, people. I'm having a beer release myself out in my backyard. Yeah? I'm going to bust all my 450s out and throw them down my gut. Careful. You'll have people lined up to downtown. <laughs> Somebody camping in my front yard. <laughs> It'll be you. <laughs> that's even better. Wow, that's really acidic. It is, but it's, it's good. super sour. It's good. Where is this beer from? Uh, so it's from the Rare Barrel, which is in Berkeley. Um, there are a couple of guys. Um, it's three guys from Southern California that that started it, or maybe they went to school in Santa Barbara. Uh, one of them was working at the brewery uh, previously up in Orange County, but it's an all sour brewery uh, right there in Berkeley. I'm drinking it. It's a delish one. It is it. You definitely get the you can you can smell the wood in there. You can um, taste like peaches, like maybe like underripe like stone fruit. It's tart. It is very I like tart. Tart huh? beers that'll go far with me. It is drinkable. Very. It's certainly very sour, like very um, really acidic. But it's it's um it's drinkable. Like sure. you, uh, I want more. I like. <clears throat> I don't think I've tasted a bad bottle from them. To be honest, I I've. Uh, had several of theirs between you and me. We popped quite a few of them, I think, but delicious every time, seems like. Yeah, they make some uh, some very, very good beers. I was really uh, I was hoping my son was going to go to school in the Bay Area so I could uh, have an excuse to go there or, you know, <laughs> slow so I could. down here for you again. <laughs> right. Here we exactly. go, back onto the muling. Yep. Get him, uh, get him up there at Libertine for slow. Megan's actually going to apply to to slow. So I'll have a Libertine she connection. Probably hopefully. get a job at Libertine. That Maybe. would be perfect. That would be that family discount. So is this a beer you guys picked up in your travels, or 
How'd I, you get a hold of it? I believe this bottle, uh, I believe Josh was on vacation and stopped in there. Either Josh or Jake were, um, it's probably Josh. it was probably Josh. Yeah. Um, was, was up there and, and just hit, hit me with a text asking if I wanted any, any bottles. That's a good little, uh, technique that we use. They're coming through a part of town where there's a brewery that is something we want something from. They'll always hit us up and stop by and grab some. Yeah. So this summer meant a lot of beers from, from up the coast and, uh, uh, Great Portland. Ocean, yeah. Uh, Alvarado street, humble sea. Yeah. Humble sea. Humble sea is my big fun let me tell you man that they're shipping beers now folks jump on it yeah i was uh i was looking at their their releases they released a uh a fruited sour like a slushy yesterday yeah looked just phenomenal um i think it sold out pretty rather quickly i don't think they shipped that one though didn't they it was just uh, how could they unless they get it there overnight yeah i mean that would be the only way because that thing would re-ferment and pop like a big old balloon yeah speaking of beer shipping uh, you know, one thing I'm impressed with is uh, is is the deliveries that that local breweries are doing. Uh, for instance, today I uh, I owed somebody a uh, a four pack of beer from this fantasy football league last mm-hmm. year that I hadn't I hadn't paid up, and um, so today the the person sent me their address, uh, North Park uh, Beer Company. I had them uh, deliver a four pack and a glass, and uh, they was delivered uh, four Perfect. hours later. Perfect. Yeah. Well, I got some Topa Topa delivered the other day. Yeah. That was great. That's unbelievable. You don't even have to leave your house. Yeah. It's getting dangerous. Makes that social distancing piece. Uh, that's that's really why I do it is the social distancing Social distancing, distancing drinking. Yep. That's how you get that done right now. Topa Topa sent me uh, two hazies. One is a, is a low-cal hazy, 98 calories. That's what or I need. And then uh, then they had a, I uh, can't remember, Spectric or something like that hazy that was super good, actually. It's a double, I think. How was the flavor on the uh, on, on the low calorie one? Perfect. I mean, yeah. I was pleasantly surprised. Huh. As okay. someone who could use a less, few less calories here and there, but uh, yeah, it was delicious. I, I mean, I, Topa Topa makes good beer. I mean, can't deny it. Hubble Sea makes good beer, and they ship it. So anywhere I can find beer that's shipping, I'm buying it and having it shipped. So might as well. I mean, support your local local. Out of local, I mean, we support we support the rest of these you know modern times and uh, society, pure, you know the ones we enjoy going to. Um, that's that's what it's all about, I think. I would agree. Hey, you know, um, one thing speaking of peer and society that you had mentioned, um, I, I was looking at the uh, um, the Home Brewers Association and their their membership card. I think it's forty dollars a year for a membership card, but they yeah. uh, a lot of these breweries have. Um, I have discounts there. Uh, like Pure, uh, it's 20, 20% off your purchase. Wow. So you can use this thing repeatedly. Um, that's pretty... Uh, that's a good deal. Yeah, it doesn't take long to make, you know, four bucks a month back. Especially at Especially Pure. Especially drink a lot of beer. That's like, that's one four pack a month. It's doable. Yep. I'm going to have to do that. Support my uh, homebrewers association. Are we going to drink some more of this or are we going to go on to the next? Shall we uh, move forward with that uh, that next beer? Real quick. What yeah. makes a a golden sour, a golden sour. So it's just the, the the base beer that they start with. It's you know it, like um you're gonna have a lighter beer, or darker darker beer. It's whatever your ward is like that you, that you're putting into it. So the um um just be you know let's actually let's look up that uh that website that I sent you guys earlier. Yeah, that was pretty good. That was pretty neat, huh? It broke down uh every uh, we'll put a link on our on our web page uh, regarding this uh um. This web page that explains different beer, uh, different beer styles. Um, it's a beer style study guide. It speaks to to whatever style of beer is. Uh, it's on uh, craftbeer.com. So when we uh, take a peek here, what are you looking for? I'm looking for this. Uh, I was gonna gonna speak to that golden stout or or not? Nope, not gonna. I'm guessing it's because it's the color. <laughs> no, I'm sure they got some technical reason other than the color. But yeah, I think that's right. You're the base, their base beer. Yeah. Um, here we go. Sour. So they just say like American sours. Um, varies IBUs. Yeah, they don't, you know, it just talks about um, color, any range of color. It may take on the color of the ingredients, such as various fruits. Um, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't give a whole lot of uh, details, but it's going to be your, 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 your base, what you're starting with. Your wart. What do, you, what do you got there, Charlie? 
We're jumping into this stout from modern times, and this is Monsters Park uh, Imperial Stout, aged in bourbon barrels. With the, it's the coconut s'mores edition. That sounds delish. Yeah. So this was a this was a bottle that I traded for. Um, yeah, Imperial Stout bourbon barrels with coconut s'mores. This was a theory only release at at modern times, so it was only available to. Uh, uh, theory level members. Uh, it's been getting great, uh, uh, great reviews. Uh, it's an imperial stout aged in bourbon barrels with marshmallows, cocoa nibs, graham crackers, vanilla, and coconut added. Is that it? That's it. That's it. <laughs> Check that guy out. Free sniffs there. That I'm, smells great. Yeah, that smells really good. It smells decadent. So pour is that, you know, obviously it's super dark. Great smell on there. You can definitely smell the barrel on there. Wow. It is smooth. That's an unbelievable beer. Super smooth. Wow, Steve, you got to get yourself a little pour of that guy. Holy stout, man! That thing fourteen point two. Dick yeah, Ooh, that's uh, hey, yikes. He's heavy too. Pump the brakes on that. <laughs> yeah, you can definitely taste. You, you taste the barrel. You def. You, you taste the coconut. Wow. I mean, I should probably stop saying wow. Like you should stop saying like. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm not gonna wow. Mm. Definitely a fan of that beer. Whew. How many of these we have? Um, I think I, I think I ended up with two of them. Oh, great! So there's a, there'd be another one down the line yeah, somewhere. That's going to have to be tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. As soon yeah, as no, we're done with this one, let's get to that that's one. A, that's a good beer. Wow, that is ridiculously good. I definitely see the hype there. We got on, some uh, lacing too there. Yeah, so no, it just, uh, I mean, once again, you know, in modern times, their their barrel program is just phenomenal. Yeah, this is, um, this is, I mean, it smells super boozy, but it is not tasting super boozy. Doesn't taste, yeah, I mean, it, that the adjuncts definitely hide the, the, the boozy character, the, the barrel, like yeah, it's not a. rich barrel. It's so modern oh, times, wow. the uh, uh, normal imperial stout, like all the time, like. And, they, then, and then this is the special version of that, right? Yep. So they'll make a, a Monsters Park, uh, j- and then they do a bunch of different, uh, a d- bunch of different Monster Parks. They'll do Monster Park. They they recently started doing um, cans of Monster Park. They'll do like twelve ounce cans of Monster Park vanilla, and then they'll do other adjuncts with different nuts and um, and and things. And then they'll do a. I'm trying to think what other bottles they've done of Monster Park. They've done a few different variants. I'm just thinking about the two people that left here. That are big stout people that would have been rocking this. Yeah, they would have been they big. Should have big, stuck big around. Fans. This is legit. I yeah, mean, you snooze, you lose. That's wow. a. Uh, um, yeah, there's not too many of those. Gosh, it's so good. It's really good. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah terribly no, that's, good. That's what I like about it. Yeah, they're. Um, and once again, I think theory only release. So it is their 300 theory members. So there was wow. probably. I'm I, telling you this. This is this is this is approaching my my your, favorite your zone. Yeah approaching no that's a great uh that's a really good beer you know people have been just just raving about how good it is and, and where that kind of rates throughout uh throughout the year untapped people are giving it uh crazy high ratings uh it and should. i can see why yeah this is uh this is one that uh you know like i said I've, how many tastings have i been to that i we've gone through these little tasters of stouts that they have pumped out for years i mean and you know i've been to Plenty of them with Josh, and and now look this thing. I don't remember seeing or tasting or smelling this, but let me tell you, they must have set it off for a little bit longer or something because it is ridiculously good. Yeah, when you read off that it was s'mores, and I was like, uh, sure, s'mores is always a good word to use. Chocolates, right? It's not going to go well in the beer. Yeah. Oh my goodness, and it's amazing. It's amazing. You, I you know, don't... I I knew I was going to bring this bottle over, and and uh, you know, I was I was getting ready, uh, uh, heading to Minnesota. Uh, at some point and um I, I saw this this beer that was released there and it was like hey our our annual release of our s'mores beer and this is what i was like this was what i was expecting but yeah, you yeah, know how that there. one's gonna end yeah. you know it's just not it, there's no way they could do that well you know what this reminds me of speaking of s'mores it reminds me of um mostra coffee they have a, a latte up there that is a it's called a campfire that's what this reminds me of yeah because it's like a s'mores latte and this thing is right there with it. Wow. There's no coffee in this, but, I mean, that wouldn't be a bad ad either. It's it's delicious. 
Yeah, you can you can certainly taste all of the. Uh, I mean, it tastes like a s'more, little uh, little coconut. Makes yeah. me want to add coconut to my s'mores every day. This is this is a good one, a one that, shockingly good. I mean, not that they don't do good beers, but I mean, I wasn't expecting. It's this. it's a it's a step above what they what they normally do. I well, feel. because uh, the, the the monster tones I've had those and they're you know they're good, mm-hmm. but this with the adjuncts is crazy good. Yeah, that's, that's a, uh, a notch above what else is rolling. Yeah, that's I mean that that's that stout is is one of the best stouts that I've had. You know, we've had some amazing stouts here on the show. We had that that top one Goliath Barrel Slayer. We've it had. Awesome. Um, um, a couple of other, you know, we had some Horus, uh, some Horus barrel aged beers, uh, and that that's that's right there with them. If not, uh, maybe a little bit better. Wow, amazing beer. We did do a Wikipedia page of all the beers, just yeah. a list. So, <laughs> list of our beers that we've done. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I just the smell is changing on me too. Getting a little warmer. Yeah, it is. It's warming up, and it's getting a little bit a little bit less boozy smell out of it, and a more of a like a graham cracker smell. I'm going to throw in your word. I like it. Yeah, that's a. Uh, I'm a. I'm a fan. Mm. I'm just going to keep drinking. You keep talking. I'll keep drinking. Yeah. So uh, that's about uh, about all we got there. You sure? <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah. Let's okay. Let's fill up our glass again with this, and we'll reroute it. We can just dub this over, and we can redo it again. <laughs> It'd be perfect. <laughs> so the. Uh, uh, you know, to connect with our show and to get all of our show notes uh, and links with everything that we talked about on this podcast, uh, go to thepodcraft.com. The webpage also has links to help you subscribe so you won't miss an episode, links to connect with us on social media, photos of the beers that we consumed during the recordings, links to the breweries, uh, more details about the beers we mentioned, uh, and our direct email address for feedback. Uh, just head to the uh, website, www.thepodcraft.com, uh, for all of the links. Also. Please consider recommending the podcraft uh, to all craft beer family, friends, and family. Oh, yeah. And uh, Jake says Spotify. And Spotify. Because that's what he listens to. Does he? Yeah. Big Spotify guy. When he goes on his walk. And then our uh, opener. Talk about the opener. So our, our, our beer opener here. The uh, You want to you touch base on that, Charlie? Yeah. So this, uh, the openers... Our, our, uh, the podcraft. We have a laser and Gretsch. Uh, laser and Scribe? I guess uh, the opener, uh, bourbon barrel opener that we uh, that we utilize here. That's what you hear those wonderful popping and clicking sounds. That's a pretty cool bottle opener. It is. It's the nicest one I've seen. I do have one that's like a fifty fifty uh, millimeter mm-hmm. shell from a machine gun, but this one's a little more unique. Yeah, pretty cool. Hey, those beer glasses ever come in? Not yet. Not yet, huh? I'm still waiting on them. Probably makes them when you order them. I would imagine. They're yeah. they're hand-blown, yeah. according to him. Or them, I guess. I don't know who's doing it. I'm not going to give them a, a name yet. <laughs> but it's uh, Etsy. Uh-huh. You just wait. Wait until it shows. There you go. But they're beautiful glasses. And uh, that's a good-looking opener. Yeah. I, uh... The cool thing is that wax cutter on the top, or on the side there. Yeah. That's a one rare. of us was going to lose a finger yeah. if we didn't. Uh, Probably me. We didn't come up. That's why I let you open them. You know, I, I still, you know, I, I, I got to work with these fingers for a few more years. <laughs> It'd be hard to type with a nub. <laughs> like, why does he always miss R? <laughs> it's apparently he's got some dexterity problems. Yeah. Oh man, I think this fourteen uh, percent is kicking in. Don't yeah. What are we? Uh, what are we going to do for our uh, for our after potty beer? What do you uh, what do you got in store for us? Right there, brother. Grab that pink beer can. Pink beer can. What is that? Looks like a Pedra Lisa Session IPA um, from Guadalajara. Guadalajara. What's the name of this brewery here? My buddy uh, Carlos brought that over for me. Cerveceria Artisanal. Arti- artisanal. Yeah. Artisanal. Yeah, he brought that over because I handed them over some. Uh, some stouts and some uh, fruited IPAs and stuff that he really enjoyed. So he brought me a four pack of those. And I wonder where he was able to run these down. I don't know where he got. I'll find out and then I'll 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 uh, refresh uh, the next the next podcast that we can get to where we get the info from him and stuff. There you he go. He was busy. He was working. Yeah, 
Yeah, I chose the, um, that, that, you know, it was imported to the U.S. through Everett, through a, a company in Everett, Washington. Mm-hmm. But let's, uh, let's see what we got here. That's my second favorite sound. What's your first favorite sound, Charlie? Bottle open. Cork usually, Cork. but I'll take a bottle. I had to reach a little further for that. Wow, it's too. got a great smell. We're going to hand that out, get it over there to Steve and let him. So I'm trying to think uh, craft uh, Mexican craft beers that I've had. Yeah, I've had several. This is a session. Yeah. So it's got a great smell to it. Uh, the color, you know, it it's, is um, super refreshing. A nice amber, like a. I'm, I'm going to say it's good without even tasting it yet. It's got a great smell. It's super easy to drink and and. Um, oh yeah, what's uh, it? Uh, I like the can. Nice. Really mild. Is it really cool? This can. is super thin. It looks like a power or a, like a monster drink yeah. can. Yeah, I thought you were going to give me like a, a white claw or a, <laughs> a truly. Yeah, truly. Throwing the truly out to you. Poor guy. Sorry. Yeah, the, you're going to uh, have to drink beer. That's really good. <laughs> that's good. Yeah. Um, what's what the. Like? Um, the it, it reminds me of uh, Ballast Point's uh, session IP or their session. I forget. Uh, I don't know. I couldn't tell you. I've never drank Ballast Point session. Back in the day, I'll bet you did. No, I drank a lot of beer, but I don't think I drank a session from Ballast Point. Hmm. It was actually pretty good. It was you figure flavored. out a name of it. Full flavored you know. at like whatever five percent. What is that? Was it Calico? Four point seven. No, it wasn't Calico. No, it wasn't like part of their original. Oh, um, okay, well that's something they came out with after I didn't like them anymore. Yeah, you probably still liked them because I think the first time I had it was over on their their old Grove or, oh, okay. or whatever that is. Uh, before original. they went criminal on us. I mean, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, but then, no, that's a good beer. I like that. I could definitely drink uh, drink some more of that. Well, it's and, good, uh, it's refreshing, and that's what he says he drinks. So I said, hey, I'll, I'll throw it on the pod, see how it barbies up. That's a, uh, yeah, that's a good beer. I would definitely uh, run with that one again. Tell Carlos he did a good job. He, he came through for us. So with that, the uh, I'm Chris. <sighs> I'm Charlie. <laughs> and we'll, uh, we'll see you next time. Cheers. Cheers. The Podcraft Podcast is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution, Share Alike 4.0 International. All rights reserved 2020. The podcast is produced by AztecMedia.net. If you have questions, please email thepodcraftpodcast at gmail.com. Fair use notice. Reference material and media have been placed within this medium for information, educational, and discussion purposes only in compliance with the fair use criteria established in Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. It should also be noted that the opinions expressed on this podcast are those of the participants and are not endorsed by the participants' previous, current, or future employers or advertisers. You still here? It's over. Go home. Go! Oh.